Hello students, I am Chalam Haredi. Welcome to CR Maths class. In previous class, we are completed level 2, 18 problems. Now I am going to discuss that 19th problem. See here what they are giving. x power 4 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2. That is equal to x square plus 3x plus k plus 16 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1. Then k is equal to. So this is a improper fraction. Improper fraction. That to second case. Numerated, numerator degrees more comparatively denominated. Then uh, do that long division. This is quotient. Quotient. That is one method. Next, go to alternative method. What is that? Just take LCM on both sides. Compare the coefficients. R in place of x substitute 0. You get k value. Okay. So I'm going to try Another method, that is, uh, take the LCM on both sides, left hand side x power 4, then right hand side, see that, x square plus 3x plus k into, here we get x minus 2 into x minus 1, plus 16 into x minus 1, minus 1 into x minus 2. Here observe that we need k value. Put, put k is equal to 0. Then we get the answer easily. See here, 0. That is equal to here, 0 plus 0 plus k. k into minus 2 into minus 1 plus 16 into minus 1 minus 1 into minus 2. Students observe here, 0 is equal to 2k minus 16 minus into minus plus 2. So, 2k is equal to minus 14, sorry, plus 14. Then k value 7. No need to do the long division. You can follow like this. So, which option correct? Fourth option, correct. Here, this is improper fraction because degree of f of x is equal to degree of g of x. Both the degrees are equal, that is 3. Then how to find the k value? k is equal to Highest degree coefficient in numerator. Leading coefficient of numerator and leading coefficient of denominator. So coefficient of x cube, 1. Denominator, after multiplication, the coefficient of x cube is 1. 1 by 1, 1. So answer is fourth option. It's a very easy question. First to take LCM. First to take LCM. Why LCM? This is a denominator repeated linear polynomial. Yes or no? Or uh, we can go another method. Let y is equal to x plus 1. Then what is x students? y minus 1. So numerator x square plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square. x square means y minus 1 whole square. x plus 1 means y divided by y square. Numerator y square minus 2y plus 1 plus y divided by y square okay and see here y square divided by y square 1 minus 2y plus y minus y 
This is a minus one by y plus one by y square. So one minus one by x plus one plus one by x plus one whole square. Here observe that what is a value one, b value minus one, c value one. But they are asking a plus b plus c that is one minus one plus one. So these two cancel. Answer is one. Fourth option correct. X is x power four plus two divided by x minus one whole square into x plus one. That is equal to x plus one plus a by x minus one plus three by two into x minus one whole square plus b by x plus one. This is actually improper fraction. Second case, degree of f of x is greater than degree of g of x. Now, how to do this? Directly take the LCM. Directly take the LCM, but denominators. All terms cannot be cancelled here. Two extra is there. This is a problem. So first, take the LCM. X power four plus two divided by x minus one whole square into x plus one. Now right hand side take the LCM. What is the LCM? Two into x minus one whole square into x plus one. So here we get uh, x plus one into two into x minus one whole square into x plus one plus a into two into x minus one x plus one. Okay, plus three into x plus one. Plus b into two into x minus one whole square. Now here these two terms cancel, but two extra is there. Send right hand side two into x power four plus two. That is equal to two into here x minus one whole square. X plus one whole square plus two a into x minus one into x plus one plus three into x plus one plus two b into x minus one whole square. Here we need a b values. How to find? Put uh, x is equal to minus one. Put x is equal to minus one. I think we get b value. X is equal to minus one means left hand side two into one plus two. That is equal to this is zero. Second term also zero. Third one also zero. Now two b into Minus one minus one whole square. Students observe here. This is a three two are six. Two square four four two are eight. A to B. Now finally, what is B? Three by four. This is B. Then how to find A value? It is important here. How to find a value? Comparing constant terms or x square coefficients. Any one. X square coefficient means it is difficult because here we need to expand. So comparing, comparing constant term. Or put x is equal to zero also, no problem. Constant term 
then what happens see left hand side constraint term is 4 after expansion here 1 into 1 1 into 2 overall 2 here this is minus 2a plus 3 plus after expansion constant is 1 1 into 2b 2b this is now tell me calculation uh, b value already we know that 3 by 4 okay 2 plus 3 5 send left hand side minus 1 minus 2a plus 2b 2 into 3 by 4 2a is equal to 3 by 2 plus 1. That is 5 by 2. A value 5 by 4. Friends, it is correct. But see the question. What they are asking? Slope of b by a. Slope b by a. slope means there is m now. Slope. M that is equal to B divided by A. B value is three by four. A value is five by four. Four four cancel. Three by five is the slope. And one point given. First, see the question. What we need to find the equation of the line passing through zero comma two with slope of B by A. So slope. 3 by 5 point 0 comma 2. By using slope point form, find the equation of straight line. Y minus y1 is equal to 3 by 5 into x minus 0. Students calculate this. 5y minus 10 that is equal to 3x. Overall answer is 3x minus 5y. Plus ten is equal to zero. I think this is the answer. Once verify the options, three x minus five y plus ten is equal to zero. First option, correct. Question. Important problem. How to do this? Here we need a r. A R value. First is one by x into x plus one, x plus two, and so on. X plus n. These are all linear polynomials in denominator. Split into partial fractions. A by x plus b by x plus one. Here they didn't given b. A one, A two, A three. They are taken like that. This is A one. This is this is A not A zero. This is A one plus A two divided by x plus two, and so on. Students, tell me A R A R. That means x plus R only now. X plus R only now. And so on, and so on. A n divided by x plus n. Now take the LCM. Denominators is going to cancel. Then how to do? See here how to do this. Take the LCM. Denominators is going to cancel. Now remaining, I am writing one is equal to. So in place of a naught, what we get a naught into except x, except x. Remaining terms will come. That means x plus one, x plus two, and so on up to x plus n. Is that no? Plus. Observe that a one after taking the LCM, except x plus one, remaining terms will come. 
remaining terms means including x also so we get x x plus 2 and so on x plus n plus plus we need a r and so on a r a r a r means except to this term except to this term remaining terms we get remaining means what x into x plus 1 x plus 2 and so on before x plus r what is there students x plus r minus 1 yes or no after x plus r what is that term x plus r plus 1 yes or no and so on x plus n plus remaining terms i am not writing a n i am not writing because time is here space is not sufficient but we need these coefficient only these terms remaining no need okay right how we get ar coefficient students here in ar in place of ar see the coefficient what is the missing x plus r only missing these x plus r is present remaining all terms x plus r is present instead of uh, in place of a naught a1 a2 a3 and so on up to a except to a r yes or no so that's why put x is equal to minus r remaining all terms is going to zero put x is equal to minus r remaining all terms is going to zero except to this students are you understood except these term that means up to here sorry except to this term so what is the term we need to identify now put x is equal to minus r then what happens students left hand side is one go to the right hand side a r and one more thing remaining terms zero or not 0 plus 0 plus 0 and so on. Now I am writing a r term a r into see here minus r minus r plus 1 and so on minus r plus r minus 1 this term. Now what about here minus r plus r plus 1 and so on this term before this term what is that x plus n minus 1 or not i am writing that term minus r plus n minus 1 minus r plus n okay now 1 is equal to a r into here minus r plus r is going to cancel here plus r minus r is going to cancel what is the remaining here minus one minus r minus r plus one minus r plus two and so on up to minus one take minus common take minus common at the time you will get minus 1 whole power r remaining terms r r minus 1 r minus 2 and so on up to 1 here total number of terms up to here there are r terms how many r terms okay now remaining observe that remaining means these terms these terms what we get what we get here one next two next and so on here observe that 
n minus r plus 1 last term so this is n minus r already you know very well 1 into 2 into 3 into and so on up to n product of n natural numbers that is n factorial or not product of n natural numbers now students tell me 1 is equal to a r into minus 1 whole power r now here observe that clearly 1 2 3 and so on up to r that value should be r factorial sir so now observe this term 1 2 3 and so on up to n minus r up to n minus r that means that is n minus r factorial sir so now finally what is the answer of ar ar is equal to 1 by r factorial into n minus r factorial into minus 1 whole power r by observing the r then we will say that it is positive or negative so that is we can write in numerator also now minus 1 whole power r divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial this is the answer finally so observe the options which option is correct minus 1 whole power r divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial which option correct students second option second option so please copy this